So look, we're gonna tell y'all something you should already know. The Bible talks about the second coming of Jesus, the resurrection happens. Y'all understand it to be the rapture. No, that resurrection, the resurrection is happening in the spiritual world. In the world, it'll be happening because all these people is gonna come to Christ and be given life and understand what life is. But the resurrection is going to happen in the spiritual world. So Christians that think the second is exactly like when you die, you get resurrected with a glorified body. But just like spirit, like hell's angels are all over the place. Like hell's angels is all over the place. You never see them. They have glorified bodies. The resurrection is happening in the spiritual world. And God has decided. So look, Satan really, Satan really pissed God off. Now that was Jesus' job, Christians. Illuminati. God gonna resurrect the Pharisees. Now look, this boy really did see Jesus Christ face to face like Paul did. And he told him to fuck off. Cause he said, Jesus tried to get Nick to deny the name of Jesus. And he came up, he, he, he just appeared to Nick and started stomping the ground and said, I'm Satan, I'm Jesus, I'm Lucifer, I'm Yeshua. And Nick's like, oh shit. And he dropped. But Jesus is, and Nick had seen Satan eye to eye. He seen Beelzebub eye to eye. And he seen the nigga named Bose eye to eye. And it was all, they, those was all demons when he seen them. And he whooped their ass. He wasn't scared of them, he whooped their ass. He whooped their ass. So he like, Oh shit, he's in charge, but he said he's he said he's Satan and he said he's but he said he's Jesus, but Satan would lie. Oh what he's, he's running around like a chicken with his head cut off. He don't know what the fuck's going on. He's wigging out like Jesus is stomping and streaming. But look, only I could hear him. Because he was in the spiritual world, but I could see him right there. Like he was floating and he was he was a giant. Like Jesus looked like the Lord God. Like the Lord God version, Jesus is the Lord God. And he looked like a Lord God. He, he a giant. Like he looked like a skyscraper. He looked like a skyscraper. I seen him eye to eye. He looked like a skyscraper. And he stomp, that's Jesus' glorified body, he looked like a skyscraper. Jesus' glorified body, he looked like a, a skyscraper. Uh, he's stomping the ground. He's stomping the ground, screaming, carrying on. He's saying, he's just saying a bunch of stuff. I don't even, it's incoherent. He's trying to get me to deny the name of Jesus. And I said, I'm not going to deny the name of Jesus. And he said, my name is Yeshua, deny the name of Jesus. And I said, no, God can preserve his word. He arguing with Jesus in the sky. And he's shaking. He get down. He said, Jesus, can I go grab a Bible? And look, look Jesus got him brainwashed. Jesus got him brainwashed. Is he don't, why is he calling him Jesus? And he's saying, my name ain't Jesus, it's Yeshua. And I'm like, but you said it was Jesus. And, and <laughs> it's a whole crazy situation. It's crazy. It's crazy. <clears throat> But Nick finally said, hold up, wait. He looked up at the sky and looked at the Lord God in his eyes and said, you want me to do the one thing that I will never do? I said, I don't know who you are, but you can fuck off. He passed the test. He was being tested by Jesus face to face. He was being tested by Jesus and he passed. And what happened when he passed is he justified the Pharisees because that's what the Pharisees did. In the name of, look, the Pharisees, look at what Paul said, Christians. Look at what Paul said, Illuminati. The Pharisees said, or Paul said he was a Pharisee, and according to the law, he didn't sin once. Paul said, according to the law, after he had repented, turned to Jesus, and, you know, became a born-again Christian, Paul said, I ain't sinned once. He said, I was, I was a Pharisee. Paul talks about he was a Pharisee. He was, he was Israelite. Let's just let you know, black folks, you is the Israelites. Here's how you can verify. You was the, Fer the black folks, you was the Pharisees. You, you, you was the Pharisees, black folks. So before you go point fingers, the reason why you a nigga is because you killed Jesus. Because the Pharisees is getting resurrected. So your ancestors took the fall for the Pharisees. Because the Pharisees, the Pharisees were supposed to take the fall. If you read the Bible, the Pharisees were supposed to take the fall for the prophets. No, your ancestors took the fall for the prophets. So that's why they was niggers. Like, I'm not being racist. Like, I'm sent from Jesus. Jesus Christ is a black man. He was a black man. And now he a giant. When I saw him, he was clear. But he still wanted to tell everybody the first Jesus was black, but now he clear. He was black, but now he clear. I seen him. He was clear. He didn't appear to me in color. Because I just seen, I seen Satan in the flesh. And I seen Beelzebub in color. So Beelzebub was purple and greenish purple. And he looked like a, he looked like a fish. He looked like a sparkly fish. Beelzebub looked like a sparkly fish butterfly. He looked like a, a big ass sparkly 
butterfly that sparkles. He sparkles. <laughs> Not someone you would think to be the prince of demons. It looked like a, it looked like a sparkly butterfly. <laughs> it was a sparkly butterfly, but look, it was about this big. Like it was about half my size. But he was floating. He was a, yeah, but a butterfly half my size. I mean, he was. <laughs> but look, the moral of the story is this. What we getting ready to say, Illuminati? Illuminati, just so you know, is that's why he the Lord of the Flies. But yet he he be he be Elzebub, be Elzebub, and Lord of the Flies. Satan did some fuck shit, but he a butterfly. He appeared to me to scare me. They, they was trying to get me to fear evil, because if you fear no evil, they can't fuck with you. So he tried to appear to me to scare me so they could hurt me. They tried to appear to me to make me forsake God. And a, the next nigga in charge, his name was Bose, and he's an orc. He is an orc. Like of Lord of the Rings, he's an orc. He a, he an orc. Look, I ain't talking shit about my boy, but he's the ugliest thing I've ever seen in my life. And he got saved. We beat the shit out of him, Beelzebub, and that's what the Bible says. All right, the Bible says Babylon is Satan's kingdom, and then the Bible also says when it talks about right where he talks about Beelzebub, Christians, right where he talks about Beelzebub, the Bible says when Satan is divided against Satan, Satan's kingdom has come to an end, and Babylon is Satan's kingdom. The Bible says Babylon is Satan's kingdom, and this is Babylon. America is Babylon, a great prostitute. And when Satan is divided against Satan, Satan's kingdom has come to an end. What we're saying is the Satan's kingdom come to an end. But what we're also saying is, Illuminati, the point we're trying to make, what we get around to say is, God don't resurrect the Pharisees. God don't resurrect the Pharisees. And the Illuminati, like, why that relevant to us? Because they're going to stone Satan to death. God don't give them, because the Bible says, that he who overcomes the world, I'll get the power to, I'll get a bright morning star. Now, depending on how you look at it, the reason why the Pharisees denied Jesus is because they was being faithful to God, per se. Now, if you look at the Pharisees, the Pharisees was obedient to the law. You look at what Paul said. Paul was a Pharisee that killed Christians, but according to the law, Paul did not sin once. He thought they was God's enemy. Paul said, like, I was a Pharisee, but I ain't sin. He said, according to the law, I was up, upright and just. I mean, he said, according to the law, it's perfect. The Pharisees' problem was they became evil in their hearts, exactly like Jesus said. Exactly like Jesus said, they became evil in their hearts. Satan duped them. They was obedient to the law. They was obedient to the law of Moses, but they had lost their obedience to God. They had left God and they became Pharisees as in like they was hypocrites they kept the law but like God said he desires mercy not sacrifice what we're saying is is they became obedient to the law of Moses and not obedient to God if I'm making sense they stopped being obedient to God and became obedient to the law of Moses and it was more about hypocritical but Satan did that to them he couldn't, get the, he couldn't get the ancient Israelites, he couldn't get the Pharisees to be unfaithful. He couldn't get the Pharisees to be unfaithful to God, so he just made the Pharisees look too close to the law. What we're saying is he fought the Pharisees. He fought the Pharisees. And Satan is the one that shut their ears and shut their minds. Satan the one that did that. God claimed it, but Satan the one that did it. Because Satan, the, the Pharisees, fuck Satan. So because this boy told Jesus to fuck off to his face, and because the Pharisees also told Jesus to fuck off to his face, like the Pharisees thought they served God. They thought they were serving God. And Satan even answered their prayers. Like they would pray to God to say, they would pray to God to show them that Jesus was not who he said he was. And Satan would answer their prayers. And Satan would answer their prayers. And that's one of the main reasons they thought that Jesus was not the Messiah was because they would pray to God and Satan would answer their prayers and say, no, that's not, that is not the Messiah. So Satan made Jesus out to be a liar. So, that's, so Satan fucked the Pharisees. He fucked them. So what God gonna do is, because Jesus is, the, the Pharisees hung Jesus, but Satan get that crime. So what Jesus gonna do is, Illuminati, them, the Pharisees, they look, the Pharisees, this was the Pharisees' attitude. A nigga better not sin. The Pharisees, 
They're gonna be the police of heaven. The Pharisees, a nigga better not see him. A nigga better not see him. Because your ancestors, the Pharisees, your ancestors, your ancestors wasn't saying fuck the police. Black, black Americans, your ancestors used to be the police for free. They was the police of the Roman Empire for free, nigga. They would walk, they would police, read the Bible. They would police the Roman Empire for free. They would do, would do it for free. I better not see. The Romans, they didn't hold to the law, but if you read the Bible, they did that police work for free. And them niggas, if you read the Bible, they just walk around. I better not see a nigga seeing. I got, I got, I got about 30 stones in my goddamn pocket. I better not see a nigga seeing. I better not see a nigga seeing. I'm gonna stone his ass to death. That was the Pharisees' problem. They was, they had a zero tolerance policy for seeing. That was the Pharisees' problem. They had a zero tolerance policy for sin. No sin, or we don't stone that nigga to death. <laughs> Illuminati, that was the Pharisees' problem. They better not see a nigga sin, or they're gonna stone that nigga to death. That was the Pharisees' problem. They was, I better not see a nigga sin, or I'm gonna stone that nigga to death. If I catch a nigga sinning, I'm gonna stone that nigga to death. <laughs> So look, this is what Jesus decided to do because Jesus Christ is a fair and righteous judge. And the Pharisees, the problem was that Jesus Christ was trying to preach to the Pharisees, show mercy, show mercy, nigga. God damn, nigga, you sin too, nigga. Show some goddamn mercy. Fuck. Jesus like, nigga, 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 chill. Damn. Jesus couldn't walk to the store without somebody trying to hit him with a goddamn rock. <laughs> Jesus couldn't walk to the store without somebody trying to hit him with a goddamn rock. <laughs> The Pharisees was like, I better not see a nigga sin, or I'm gonna hit that nigga with a rock. So we're gonna, we're gonna, Jesus gonna resurrect the Pharisees, Christians. The Pharisees finna partake in the first resurrection. Jesus gonna resurrect the Pharisees and say, remember me? He gonna say, remember me? He gonna resurrect the Pharisees and say, remember me? I'm the son of God that you hung on a goddamn cross. And they're gonna say, oh shit, I'm sorry, he's gonna make them shake. He's gonna make them, he gonna make the Pharisees shake. He is gonna do that. He's gonna make the Pharisees. Because Jesus, when he when he show up, this boy, he ain't a saint alumni. When Jesus show up, you shake. He, Jesus can appear to you in the spirit flesh and make you shake. He can just, when, when you see Jesus, uh, you shake. He can make you shake. That's how he put the fear of God in you. That's how he put the fear of God in you. He just, he just pop up on you one time, make you shake, and then he ain't gotta worry about you no more. Like, he just, Illuminati, he just show up and you shake. Like convulsions, like full-fledged, you just shake. I seen him my own two eyes. It's not a rumor, I mean, it's real. He can just, so the Pharisees, Christians, Jesus' Jesus's personal revenge on the Pharisees, he gonna resurrect them niggas and make them shake. He gonna make them niggas shake. He gonna make them shake. He gonna make them niggas fool. He just gonna make them shake. That's gonna be his, that's gonna be his personal vengeance on the Pharisees. He gonna resurrect the Pharisees and make them shake. He gonna resurrect the Pharisees and make them shake. And he gonna say, all right, look, now that you understand, I am the son of God. <laughs> Cause the Pharisees been asleep. The Pharisees been asleep. So when he wake up the Pharisees, when he wake up the Pharisees, he's gonna say, look, now look, you're gonna start showing some goddamn mercy in my goddamn house. You're gonna come to my house, but you don't you don't abide by my goddamn rules this time. Last time I abided by your goddamn rules, now you don't abide by my goddamn rules. And you don't abide by the goddamn rules, and you're gonna stop throwing goddamn rocks at every goddamn body. You're gonna throw rocks at who I tell you to throw rocks at, and God's gonna say, look. And that, that's, y'all know about Satan. That little Beelzebub cool now. He don't want no smoke. Beelzebub cool now. Beelzebub cool. Leave Beelzebub alone. Beelzebub, leave Beelzebub alone. <laughs> leave Beelzebub alone. But look, we know a nigga named Satan. And Illuminati, the Pharisees, is going to stone Satan to death. Forever sin. That's God's plan. Just let y'all know God is not playing with this nigga. God let that happen. God is, look, God's will. God told the end at the beginning. This is God's plan since the beginning. So Christians, the resurrection will take place in the afterlife. That's when the res like they will have glorified bodies. Like we ain't saying, we just saying the resurrect the rapture don't happen here until the last day. And that that's when that's when the rapture happened. The Bible don't mention nothing about a rapture. The Bible mentions about the first resurrection, but it says Christ will come and restore all things. 
Bible says Christ will come and restore all things. And that's what I'm sitting to do. But, it, but because they didn't get the message the first time, I'm not the Christ, but the Christ is working through me. Meeting me is as good as meeting the Christ. But, this, but the Bible says, what you have done to the least of my brothers, you have done to me. Like, I'm not the Christ, but the Christ is working through me. Meeting me is just as good as meeting the Christ. But you will know something? Meeting any homeless person out on the street, I'm not, this is what you need. Meeting any homeless person out on the street, you have met Jesus Christ face to face. Because what you have done to the poor and needy, you have done to Christ himself. All right, but more of the story is, ladies and gentlemen, we, what you have done to the poor and needy, you have done to Christ himself. What I'm getting at is, though, what I'm getting at, what I'm getting at, Illuminati, God gonna resurrect the Pharisees, and they're gonna invade, they're gonna invade hell with weapons of mass destruction. They're gonna stone Satan to death for ever sin that has ever been committed because God can throw comets. That's why God made comets in this because Satan, like, he tempted Eve. Eve saw him, like, Eve saw him face to face. Face to face. Satan can come into this reality when God makes a door. Spirits can come into this reality if they have a door. They live in a separate reality that abides on top of this one. They're, if they come into this reality, they have a body that exists in this. Like you can touch Satan and poke his skin. Like you can poke his skin. If God makes a door. They exist in a separate reality. Same universe, separate reality, okay? Christians, what we want you to know is... God and Jesus have been resurrect the Pharisees. And they're going to throw comments at Satan. So we told Satan, they kept, the reason why God, atheists, look, I know y'all read the Bible and y'all see how mean God's been being. He ain't that mean. Look, he's been acting a certain type of way for Satan. God ain't never had evil in his universe before. He don't have it. Illuminati, this is new. Y'all is going to tell everybody how great God is because heaven, heaven can't, heaven don't even know what the fuck God did that's so impressive as far as lying. Like, they know it's impressive, but they don't, like, they don't know nothing about lying. They don't know, Illuminati, heaven don't know nothing about lying. You is going to teach heaven how great God is. Hell's angels don't teach heaven how great God is. God's not a liar, ladies and gentlemen, but Satan is the most deceived creature. Satan had the power of a God, and he thought he was at, Satan has thought he's been at war with God for 6,000 years. Christians, you know the Bible. Satan has thought he's been at war with God for 6,000 years. 6,000 years, Satan thought he was at war with God. 6,000 years. No, he's been down there fucking himself. Christians, ain't nobody getting fired but Satan. That's why God said that. Because Satan is going to get they fired. Fired for trying to get them fired. And fired like... If Satan tempted someone to sin, and they did not sin, he get they fire, fire for that fire, and then a double on the fire. So he don't wind up with like... He, he wind up for getting, he, he get 10 years of fire for trying to tempt somebody to sin one time, 10 years of fire. 10 years of fire. I mean, Satan getting fire. Satan only one. Christians, now look, we're going to tell you something. It's motherfucking fire. It's a billion trillion degree fire. Like, it's a billion trillion degree fire. Look, the Bible says Christ will return. Christ is the righteous judge, and he will give to each what their deeds deserve. Now, there's evil people in this world. But Satan the only one getting fire. Christians, it's motherfucking fire. It's fire. The Bible says the beast and the false prophet will be thrown into the lake of fire. Satan is the beast. You go around looking around, look at the mark of the beast and all this. Satan is Satan is the beast for sure, for sure. The Illuminati, the beast. But Satan thought he outsmarted God. We don't we can get to that later. It's recorded. So Illuminati, today we sit in front of you a door. The beast prophecy has yet to be fulfilled. The false prophet prophecy has yet to be fulfilled. And this is the prophecy. I mean, and this is the prophet. I'm sent to tell you, Illuminati, American government, NASA, you are the beast. God, Satan has set you up. You are the beast. Satan used you to fulfill the beast scripture. You are the beast. And I'm the prophet sent to tell you, Illuminati, you are the beast. NASA, you are the beast. American government. I'm talking House of Representatives. I'm talking about the entire executive branch, including you, police officers. I'm 
I'm talking Congress. I'm talking Donald Trump. Donald Trump, you picked a terrible time to be president. You picked a terrible time. Donald Trump, you are you are the beast. Like, and I'm I'm sitting here to save you. I'm sitting here to tell you you are the beast. And if you repent, Satan will keep your fire. Like, how's he gonna get an eternal? No, Satan will keep your fire. His fire for trying to get you fire, and then the punishment for trying to get people to put in fire. Like that's that's how it's, that's how it's working. Look, Satan is gonna get your fire. Fire for trying to get you fire, and then Satan gonna get your fire. Satan gonna get fire for trying to get you fire, and then Satan is gonna. And by the way, it's undefined. God has not defined the punishment yet, so God's punishment infinite fire. It's like how is Satan gonna get that much fire? That's a lot of fire. God's just gonna turn up his nerve sensitivity. God's gonna take away his skin. That's why God made earthworms. That's why they eat dirt. God made earthworms so everybody knows. Like it's like, well, how is like God? Well, AIDS just gonna take away his scales. Cause Satan ain't always been a snake. Christians, God took away Satan's legs and then he could slither. God took away Satan's legs and then he could slither. No, Satan was a man. God is instructing me. Satan was a man in heaven. And he poofed him down here. The reason why God, by the way, he was not in heaven. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Satan lived in everlasting. Satan's never been to heaven. It was ne heaven. In the beginning, God made the heavens and the earth. Satan has never been to heaven. Satan has never been to heaven. Satan has never been to heaven. <laughs> Satan, Satan thinks he fell from heaven. Why? Because he's retarded. He, he's retarded. God made him retarded. God programmed him a certain type of way because for one million years, Satan was trying to torture. Like Satan had a plan to torture God's creation for one million years. So finally God said, all right, all right, one million years. That's long and motherfucking enough. So God finally let him try that's why Illuminati, that's why Satan's been, that's why Satan has had the power of God, and that's why he's down here on planet Earth. That's why there's a devil here with the power of God. Because he was up in everlasting. One million years, he had a plan to take over God's throne and to torture God's creation. One million years, he plotted on God. One million years, he plotted on God's creation. So finally God said, one million motherfucking years, and I ain't, and God is just steady teaching us. I'm God, you are but a dark, you are but a man. You, I am God, you are but a man. And finally God said, you know what, Satan, fuck it. Fuck it, let's fuck it, let's, let's fucking, hey, let's, <laughs> let's rock and roll, man. Let's be the no matter what Satan wanted to do, is get God. The reason why Satan wanted to do is the best of all. Oh, we love God, people. So ladies and gentlemen, God protected planet Earth. With, God has had Satan down here earning what he would have got. Like Satan, Satan, that's why Satan is the accuser. The Bible says, do not judge, you will not be judged. Do not be condemned, you will not be condemned. Satan is down here trying to tempt a man to sin. Why does everybody think his punishment was decided on say one, on day one? That's because God wanted everybody thinking that. Christians, Christians, ask yourself this. So his punishment was decided on day one, and God just let him roam free with the power of God for 6,000 years. He had the power of a God, Christians. God gave him the power of a God. The Illuminati can tell you all about it. They think he's Lucifer. That's why in the Bible it's so specific. It's like Satan is the only deceiver of the whole world. <laughs> I mean, the Bible's like so specific. Satan, the ancient serpent, the great dragon. Like it, it goes into such descriptive detail. Now we're talking about the snake. We're talking about, we're talking about, he said he is the one and only deceiver in the world. I mean, it could not be more descriptive. It is Satan, the, the devil, the Satan, Satan, who is the devil, who is the ancient serpent, who is the great dragon. It's like God's trying to talk, God's talking to the Illuminati. Like Illuminati, you know, he's not the sun. He's a snake. He's not the sun. But the Illumin Satan told the Illuminati because they believe in the Bible. He told them that he's the Watcher Angel. He told the Illuminati he's from heaven. He's the watcher angel, and that he's also the sun. So what, the sun just didn't exist for 1,000 years? So what, the sun just fell from heaven. Before that, what was the sun? Before that, what was the sun? Yeah, he brain raped you. There you go. That's, that's your evidence that you're brain raped, Illuminati, because y'all looking at that now like, damn, that's retarded. <laughs> what was the sun before he was the sun? <laughs> he a liar. There's one devil. Illuminati, the watcher angels? The watcher angels that watch God's creation, 
the watcher angels that's supposed to make Satan, Satan saw that when that angel fell from heaven hey they got a prophet that's what fucks Satan the watcher angels fuck Satan because the watcher angels got a prophet if you read the, the book of Enoch the watcher angels got a prophet hell's angels never got a prophet this is hell's angels prophet Hell's angels have been fucking Satan because they were Satan's saviors. Because Satan was in heaven lying on God. He was in heaven lying on God and saying, hey, God's a liar. He started pointing out things God had said that's impossible. And people was like, hey, you know what? That is impossible, God. What you hiding? Why you lying? And the moral to the story is, no, with God, all things are possible. This is not that God's a liar. It's that God can just do cool shit. And Satan said, and Satan said, look, God's lying and he's secretly bad. He's secretly bad. And God's response to that was eternal hellfire, Satan. He was trying to take God's throne. They knew he was trying to do something with that. But they was looking at Satan's right. God's lying. And he's bad. Satan's right. And he's been out here acting like Marshall Mouth, poor little Satan. He had hell's angels, poor little Satan. He played the victim. He played poor little Satan. And they stood up for Satan. That's why they ain't got a prophet. Because they stood up for Satan because God was in fact being mean. Satan tried to make God the bad guy. So God said, hey, you know what? If, I, if you're going to make me the bad guy, nigga, I'm the worst guy. Satan tried to make God the bad guy. So God said, if I'm the bad guy, nigga, I'm the worst guy. And those angels stood up for Satan. God had a plan to save them. I mean, they, they still in the wrong, and this is their punishment for forsaking God, and re they rebelled against God. They didn't want us wrong. They was just like, they was just standing up for Satan. They was doing what they thought was right. God did that. He threw them hero bait. Because at that point in time, God's judgment was kind of unfair and unjust. Because it was just zero to a hundred. Satan tried to make a move and, and cause chaos in God's creation, and God said, fine then, fire. <laughs> So, and at that point in time, it was unfair and unjust. Well, what we've been doing is we've been establishing, like, that's worse. And God's plan was, that's the reason why he sent. How did, how did the watcher angels fuck Satan? Because that's what, that's what made hell's angels. At first, they was just sad fairies. And then Satan said, yo, the watcher angels got a prophet, nigga. You ain't get a prophet. You fucked. You fucked, bud. You fucked. He rubbed it in their face that the watcher angels got a prophet. Rubbed it in their face that the watcher angels got a prophet. Enoch was their prophet. The watcher angels got a prophet. Hell's angels ain't got no prophet. The watcher angels got a prophet. Hell's angels ain't got no prophet. That's because they've been down here fucking Satan. Because Satan was Satan made he made them he made them nigger slaves. They have been down here. They are they have been evil nigger slaves for six thousand well about five thousand and some change years. Satan has been using them to do evil shit. Satan made them slaves. Satan made his slave his savior slaves. Ladies and gentlemen, that's why that's that that was that was a straw. It was like Satan, do that. Do that, Satan. Do that. That was God's last straw. Do that. And you will receive the worst case outcome you could possibly receive. Right after that. Noah happened. Right after that, Noah happened. Then right after Noah, the law of Moses came. And like the first law was love. The first law was what it is now. And at first, everybody knew the law. The first law was what it is now. Love. Love God with all your heart. Love the Lord with all your heart. And love thy neighbor as thyself. The first law was love. And then Satan got the fucking off. And God's like, hey, look. Hey, you my holy... You look like Spartan warriors. Black people, the reason why you look like Spartan warriors is Satan kept trying to make, like, Satan kept trying to take over the world with evil people. He would focus on one nation, exactly what he's doing now, Illuminati. He would make one nation extremely evil, and he would use that extremely evil nation to try to take over the world. That's where the Israelites come in. Black people, that's why you as God's holy special race of people. If you read the Bible, black people don't mention nothing about white people's ancestors because y'all would come in and kill everybody. That's why you look like Spartan warriors fresh out the womb. When God is with you, you kill everybody. That's why NASA bosses got you in America right now. They're scared of you. They're scared of you. That's why Satan and Hell's Angels took you hostage. That's why NASA boss took you hostage is they scared of you and they started building this Tower of Bible by that time. And they scared of you. They scared of you. 
Now we're gonna tell you something, NASA boss. Taking them hostages is the stupidest thing. You should learn from Pharaoh. Like we're like Satan, that's retarded. Don't do that. I mean, you're gonna save the whole world doing that. Satan never learns. He retarded. Illuminati. It was God's will. You didn't. They thought that they caught. Like they knew they caught you at a weak moment. But the reason why you black. That's the reason. That's the reason why they call you the N word, and they try to tell you that you nothing, that you less than dirt. It's not personal. Black folks, it's not personal. The reason why they do that, the reason why they do that, the reason why they did that was because you as the holy special superior race that everybody talking about being. That's you. And they did not want you knowing that. They didn't want you realizing that. Because they scared you and they're trying to get into heaven. Satan has them convinced that they're going to hell for an eternity. And they're just trying to get out of the fire. Satan has them convinced that they're the descendants of Cain and that they're damned to hell for an eternity since birth because of Cain. Well, look, I'm Cain resurrected. And this is Abel's blood being avenged. This is Abel's blood being avenged. The one man evil came into the world. The one man is going to leave. I'm the second Cain. I'm the second Cain. What's going on, Hawk? Not a whole lot. I'm the second Cain. So Illuminati, you, I mean, they believe they're the sentence of Cain. So black folks, chill. We don't, we don't, I'm going to talk to them. I'm going to talk to them about boss. We're going we don't, to we don't try to make it up to you. I'm going to try to talk them into making it up to you. But look, I'm here to save you, Illuminati. The Pharisees going to get resurrected and they're going to stone Satan to death for every sin. But they're going to be throwing comets and atomic bombs. They're not doing it with rocks this time. They're doing it with big rocks. They're going to be throwing comets and atomic bombs. They're going to be throwing comets and atomic bombs. Just as Satan. Just as Satan. It's the second coming of Jesus Christ. The resurrection is happening. But I'm sent to restore all things. I'm not the Christ. The Christ is with me, and he, I'm the only begotten son of Jesus Christ. Why? Because he said so. So, Elsa Jean, you will marry me. And that's all I have to say about that.